This is my little Pomeranian Rocco and I'm so missing him. He's my world. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm introducing you to a new product I've been using to create super elegant, delicate, organic structures um, in my acrylic painting. Um, I'm right now in the UK and I know it's available here in the UK. I get it delivered to Germany via the eBay from the UK. We'll pay for the delivery costs because it's worth it. You treat this product probably similar as sensitive as satin and a mouse, maybe even a little bit more sensitive, but it doesn't create clouds. What it does, it creates very organic structures, as you see here in a close-up here. Um, it's eating up your paint, so it's it's eating up your paint, so you can't use a lot of it. I'll show you in the next sequence how I mix my paint. Um, if you follow me for a while, you know I love organic structures, earthy structures in my paintings. It gets very detailed, and this is a beautiful product. It's called it's from Dulux or Dulux. That's the label. It's called Quick Dry. Gloss High Sheen Pure Brilliant White for wood and metal. Touch dry within an hour. So this product dries super fast. It's quite thin for a house paint. But I think what matters if you're trying to find a similar product in the USA, for example, or if you're not in the UK or Germany, um, I think what matters is quick dry. Um, and that it is for wood and metal. So this isn't just a house paint, uh, it's for wood and metal. Um, it's very thin, it dries super fast. It's a really, really cool product. So I will get you on my canvas. I show you my little setup here in my little studio space here in London. And then we will do a swipe on a wood panel on a 40 by 30 centimeter one. Um, as I'm trying to get ready for a bigger one, I have to do a 40 by 80 centimeter one. I do it on a wood panel because um, I want to resin it afterwards. And if you resin your artworks um, working with wood helps a lot because Resin is self-leveling and the paint, when you work with acrylic paint, there's a lot of fluid, you know, a lot of liquid. On the canvas it will sink in and mostly to the middle and also the resin then will pull to the middle. That's what we don't want. That's why if you want to resin your piece, I suggest you really, if you want to avoid working issues or trauma or don't want to be disappointed, work with a wood panel. Um, I already fixed my wood panel here on my cupboard and my spinner and yeah, I will show you this little setup here. Um, it's quite improvised and cute. <laughs> okay, I will get you a close-up now. Uh, the look on the candles now. So here we are at the product. You see, it's already quite thin for some house paint. But I think it also must be because it says it's a quick dry, so it shouldn't be too thick. So it leaves an amount on amount before it sinks in. It's super milky. There are no things in it. It's super smooth. So this is a lovely product. And if you mix it right, it's going to be awesome. So here we are, um, I will be using this. We don't really need much. As you see here, I'm really not using much. That should it be? A little bit more maybe. So this might be a little too much. 
you don't even need that much. So where I am at is this. You don't need much more of this. Then we add our house paint. And then we add our latex binder or our over troll or our flow troll. This I use almost, yeah, I said. And then water until the right consistency. So, but for that, we now actually have to mix this up. A little bit of water, not much. Yeah, that's my consistency I will be having. So you see, it leaves an amount, an amount. It's a very thick pillow paint and it's not gonna crack as I will be using this here. This is, as I said, that's really, really good. That's liquid gold. Um, I use always very thick paint with my pillows, as you see here. And I never have any cracks. So for those in Europe that use GAC 800, GAC 800 of Golden, you might want to use um, this product if you're especially in Germany, because I never use GAC 800. Um, I always use this product. I'm seeing artists online on YouTube, their blooms are cracking. Mine, luckily, never. And I probably have the thickest consistency. So that's a safe way for me. It works. Maybe try it out. Maybe it works for you too. Let's go, for example, with this one. That's a burnt umber of Amsterdam. You see the consistency here. Up. quite thick as well and I'm mixing it up let me show you so I do maybe a third of this then I use a squeeze of the Liquitex pouring medium glass just to get it nice and fluid then I'm using my overthrow maybe so we do one part paint we do a, a half part of the Liquitex gloss medium we do about 
two parts of this. And then if it's too thin for me, I just add like a peak of my spoon of this. That's the Liquitex acrylic medium gale brilliant. So this is not, as you see, let me show you. <clears throat> find a new spoon so this is not very liquid ish but you mix it up with the paint if you want a thicker consistency and really works very well just mix it nice and right and then you're fine i use this to thicken up my paint others will use for example glue or so but i use just a little bit of that and this really works for what i'm trying to accomplish um, my gold, that's a very special one, I'll show you, I use up the same way, I'm using the glorious gold of DecoArt, Dazzling Metallics, so maybe yeah, a third of this, and then I use those gold pigments they are fantastic and here i'm using for this cup here full cup i'm using about let me show you a big spoon and as you see the pigments are already flying around so a big spoon of that as I will resin my piece afterward, I will have beautiful shine in it. And this gold is just stunning. Also quite thick. My cell activator is one part of the Amsterdam, uh, three, one part of my Amsterdam titanium white and three part of the Australian flow troll. My pillow is the thickest, as you saw. Then a little bit thinner is my paint. And the thinnest is my cell activator, but it still leaves an amount, as you can see here. This guarantees me that it's not breaking, that it's not, that it's still looking stable in the paint. So I will get you on the canvas and then let's see how we do. So this is the product we talked about. Dulux quick dry gloss hygiene, pure brilliant for wood and metal. Um, my workspace, very improvised, but cute. Of course, I don't want to get the paint on the walls. It's a beautiful room in here. Um, so I covered all sides. I will move this over here. I will, when I spin, have this here, but it shouldn't spin too much because my paint is quite thick. Um, yeah, this is my little setup. The ring light is just there because those lights are not working and it's already dark at 5 p.m. here in the UK. What's well, super frustrating and depressing. I need sunlight. Okay, let's get this started. Um, you will have an overview on that. Yeah, let's start. Paint.
thank you for watching i really would appreciate a like a comment if you can share this video it really helps me thank you so much see you